How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're discussing chipsets. Or we can just talk about computer stuff like we normally do. Let's start with the basics. Contrary to its name, a motherboard's chipset is actually just one chip on a modern motherboard. This used to be made up of a set of chips, but has been simplified to a single chip in today's world. This chip controls the communication between your CPU, RAM, storage, and peripherals. This goes from anything USB, SATA, PCIe, audio, ethernet, the list goes on. But basically anything that is used by your computer is controlled by this chip. If your computer was an airline, the data would be all the planes and the chipset is the traffic controller, talking to all the components of your PC at once and making sure they can talk to each other and send data where it needs to go. Now, different chipsets will support different CPUs, number of PCIe lanes, and peripheral connections, so be sure your components are compatible with the chipset on your motherboard. For example, you may have come across some like the X570, B550, or A520 for the Ryzen 3000 CPUs, or some Intel Z590, H570 or for Rocket Lake, Z490, H470 for Comet Lake, or Z390 or H370 for Coffee Lake Intel CPUs. And there's a ton of different versions in between these, so it can get a bit confusing and overwhelming at first glance. Luckily, we have great websites that will tell you if your chipset supports your other components. Primarily, the CPU is what you're going to be wanting to look for to see if it matches your chipset. The chipset itself will use about 20 to 30 watts of power, but this can vary based on your board. For comparison, a modern CPU can take anywhere from 65 to 100 watts, and giant CPUs like the Threadripper series can actually use 280 watts. So you can see the chipsets themselves use just a fraction of the power that your actual CPU will use. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this gave you a better understanding of what the chipset is on your motherboard and what it does in the function of the computer. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you have any questions after this, leave them below in the comments and I'll get to them then. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good day. See you in the next one.